Section 93 of The Lincoln Storybook by Henry L. Williams Lincoln's Vision Read for LibriVox.org by David Fetterman Abraham Lincoln had been nominated for the presidency. The consummation of his ambition had naturally a deep impression upon him. He came home and threw himself on the lounge, expressly made to let him recline at full length. It was opposite a bureau on which was a pivoted mirror happening to be so tilted that it reflected him as he lay. As I reclined, he says, my eye fell upon the glass, and I saw two images of myself, exactly alike, except that one was a little paler than the other. I arose and lay down again with the same result. It made me quite uncomfortable for a few minutes, but some friends coming in, the matter passed out of my mind. The next day, while walking in the street, I was suddenly reminded of the circumstances, and the disagreeable sensation produced by it returned. I determined to go home and place myself in the same position, as regards the mirror. And if the same effect was produced, I would make up my mind that it was the natural result of some principle of refraction or optics which I did not understand, and dismiss it. I tried the experiment with the same result, and, as I had said to myself, accounted for it on some principle unknown to me, and then it ceased to trouble me. But the God who works through the laws of nature must surely give a sign to me if one of his chosen servants even through the operation of a principle of optics. This, seeing one's simulacrum, or double, was so common, especially when looking-glasses were full of flaws, designedly cast faulty to give magical effects for conjurers, that old books on the black art teem with instances. Lincoln was right to demonstrate that the vision was founded on fact, and no supernatural sight at all. His trying the repetition was like Lord Byron's quashing a similar illusion, but a suit of clothes hung up to look like a friend whom he believed he saw in the spirit. A more widely read man would have dismissed the fetch like the president-elect, but with a laugh. End of section 93 This recording is in the public domain. Recording by David Fetterman